truth is, Yeah, I'll be reviewing Iron Man, my second movie review of the MC movies, Marvel Cinematic Universe, leading up to the Avengers. This movie was directed by John Favreau, who also started it as Happy Ho uh, Happy Hogan. I think that's his name. I should know this, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> Good movie. Uh, Tony uh, Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. Good acting. Great music from. I mean, I I can't say his uh, name, but good score from him. Very good. Uh, Terrence Howard plays a uh, Rhodey, who later becomes War Machine. I honestly think that um, Don Cheadle plays a better roadie. That's just me personally, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I saw this movie when I was 18 in 2008. I said this previously in the Captain America review. I that uh, the guy who was giving out the tickets said to say after the credits, and we did. Oh boy. We've been waiting four years for this, so this Friday is the Avengers, so can't wait. <clears throat> we have the, uh, <clears throat> I saw the making of, of Iron Man and the set design, the set designer made Tony's house to like, reflect his like, Tony's personality. He was like, like, um, a good guy and all that. It was like rough around the edges, if that makes any sense. But you'll have to watch the um, special features on the two disc. Actually, I have the one disc, but <clears throat> it's a good in, um, introduction to the MCU. It started with this movie. Never forget that, obviously. But Iron Man started it all, so. Nick Fury is at the end of the movie telling Tony about the Avengers initiative. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I haven't heard of Iron Man until this movie came out. So he's a pretty good hero. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but good acting from Robert Downey Jr., Gwyneth Paltrow, <coughs> Owen uh, Clark Gregg plays Agent Phil Coulson. He wasn't in the comics at all. He was an original character introduced in this m in the movies. Can't wait to see him in the Avengers, but uh. <coughs> Man, I so can't wait. Good movie and uh <clears throat> good action. Uh Tony is uh he only cared about like making weapons and selling to the armies and all that. <clears throat> Sorry. But uh he got kidnapped and set in this cave. With this other guy, got his name, but he's played by played by a uh, Sean Tob. I don't know if that's how you say his last name, but <coughs> sorry again. But uh, <coughs> yeah, Sean Tob tells Tony. <coughs> Mm. 
Yeah, Sean Tom tells Tony that you can either let them, the <clears throat> terrorists, the Ten Rings, that you can let them do whatever you want with your weapons, or you can do something about it. And Tony decides he will do something about it and makes the Iron Man suit. <clears throat> he later finds out that his <clears throat> father's friend, Obadiah Stane, was behind it, the kidnapping. And he becomes an Iron Monger and tries to <clears throat> make the suit for the armies and... <clears throat> but Tony stops him, obviously, so... It's a good introduction to the MCU, like I said before, but... Good movie. I'd give it... I'd give this movie four stars out of five. I think it's that good, yeah. It has its light moments and its dark moments, but that's needed. This kind of thing. It sets the tone for the MCU, which it does well. Can't wait for Iron Man 3 to come out next year. And there's rumors that Tony, the Robert Downey Jr. might be recast, and someone else will be playing Tony Stark. This might might not happen for a while, but there's rumors of it going around. So. <clears throat> But good movie, good introduction to the entire uh, MCU franchise. Yeah. Good music by, um, yeah, Ramin, I can't say it's my name, but uh, I've, I think a few ACDC songs in here too. Pretty cool. I suggest any fans of superheroes should watch this movie if they haven't already. Watch this movie. Watch it. Here to talk. 